Hi everyone. Welcome to GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. In this session, we are going to discuss about the points, lines and curves. So these are the topics that we are going to discuss in this session. We are going to study about point followed by line segment, line, ray, plane. And then we'll be studying about intersecting lines followed by parallel lines and curves. The curves are simple curves, open curves and closed curves. What is a point? Dots that are used in a line can be said to be a point. And the point has the main function to represent any specific location or position. It does not have any particular size nor dimensions. The points can be joined in different ways. So here you can see that a point on combination makes a line. Here we have an interesting example. You have to place three points on the paper and provide the name for the points. So we have three points in a paper over here. A B and C. So there are three points. Next we have line segment. Your line segment is nothing but the shortest distance between the two points. It has two end points and hence it has a definite length. The two points are A and B. Our next example demands us to define the shortest distance between the point A and the point B. So here you have the point A and here you have the point B. So which will be the shortest distance, either the part A or the part B or the part C? Which one will be the shortest distance? Let us see what will be the answer. B is the shortest distance to cover the point A and the point B. Next we are going to study about lines. A line is made up of infinite number of points. So there are infinite number of points in a line and it extends indefinitely in either of the direction. The two points determine a line. So here the two points A and B determines the line and it extends indefinitely in either direction. Next, we are going to study about a ray. A ray is a portion of the line which starts at one point and it goes on endlessly in one direction. So if you see, this is a starting point and it goes on endlessly in the direction over here. Next we have an example where we have to provide some real-time examples of rays. The beam of ray from a lighthouse starts from this point and it extends indefinitely in the directions. The sun rays 
It starts from the sun and it extends indefinitely into the space. So these are some real-time examples of ray. What is a plane? A plane is a thin flat surface which has no thickness and no limit. So here you can see that your plane is flat and it does not have any thickness or limit. And always it is represented by a minimum of three points. So here we have three points A, B and C. What is an intersecting line? If two or more lines meet at a point, then the point is known as the intersecting point. And your intersecting lines will never be in parallel. Here you can see that two lines are said to be parallel if they run equidistant from each other. So if the lines are parallel then they can never be intersecting lines. Parallel lines or non-intersecting lines. The lines if two of them does not have a common point, then they are said to be parallel line. The parallel lines never meet. They cut or cross each other. So, the parallel lines never meet nor cut or cross each other. So these two are parallel lines. Next we have an example in which we have to determine whether the below lines are parallel or intersecting lines. So you can see over here that whether these lines are parallel or intersecting lines. Let us see the answer. The lines that is being drawn do not intersect. As you can see, they do not cross over each other nor intersect. Hence, they are parallel lines. Moving on, next we have curves. The figures that flow smoothly without a break is said to be a curve. So here, you can see that there is no break and hence it is a curve. A line is a straight curve. It doesn't have a deviation nor it has a break. So you can see over here that this line is continuous and doesn't have a break. Hence, it is a curve. What is a simple curve? The curves which do not intersect themselves is said to be a simple curve. So here, if you see, you can see a line curve which do not intersect themselves. Hence, it is a simple curve. Next, we are going to see an example of simple curve. You have to identify which of these in the given images are simple curve. Either A or B or C or D. So, which one is the simple curve? The answer is option A, C and D. You know that a curve has the condition that it does not cross itself. So that is violated over here in your option B. And then it is called as a simple curve. So our options A, C and D are the simple curves. A line is a straight curve as we know. 
Next we are going to discuss about the types of the curve. The curves whose end points do not meet is said to be open curves. Here the end points do not meet hence it is open curve. The curves whose end points join to enclose an area is said to be a closed curve. So here you can find two areas area 1 and area 2. So hence this is a closed curve. Next we have an interesting example on types of the curves. You have to determine the open and closed curves. So which of these will be open or closed curve? Let us see the answer. Your answer is option A, B and C are closed curve and option D is the open curve. As you can see the end points do not meet in D hence it is an open curve while the end points meet in A, B and C hence they are closed curves. What are closed curve regions? The area that is interior to that of the closed curve is known as the interior of the curve. So this forms the interior of the circle and the area that is lining the curve is the boundary of the circle and the area that is lying outside the curve is said to be the exterior of the curve which is the exterior of the circle over here in this case. So this is the closed curve regions. Thank you so much for joining GTEC. Hope you would have studied about the closed and the open curves. Thank you.